Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Hi, everyone. What's Hello. up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And yeah, I'm Corey. And you can do whatever you need to do. Oh. <laughs> She didn't say one word the entire time she was on the <laughs> sidewalk. Yeah. Well, I was just, I got really scared. <laughs> We're gonna leave that in. But either way, hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I am Corey, and, take two. Take two. And welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It is a cozy little Christmas weekend in our life. We just had lunch at Tavern in the Square in West Hartford because we had to run some errands in this like neighborhood town shopping mall. We're gonna do some shopping today. And we're gonna go into World Market because they have one over here and it's one of like my all-time favorite stores So with that being said, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up Please hit the subscribe button down below And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss a vlog miss But Corey and I thought that we would just intro the vlog We could we could start walking now to yes, World Market But uh, yeah, so Corey is gonna be in a lot of vlogmases Because to me, vlogmas is like The normal vlogmas is vlogging every day Just standard life And Corey is quite literally in my standard day I life. I am very much, I he think, He's very in much your a life. part of our everyday life, so. <laughs> and also, not to mention, we know your subscribers love me. And everyone That's loves to have Corey around. <laughs> but with that being said, normally I don't have Corey in as many of the vlogs, because like day in the lifes or weekends, it's just more so like he's not in them, but because it's Vlogmas, he's gonna be in them definitely a lot more. Woo! So with that being said, we're heading into World Market now, and I'm excited because I'm also gonna hold they my also have some hand good over Christmas here. Stuff yeah, there. they have like the best 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 christmas stuff in world market and we actually have not been into world market i would say in like a pretty long a hot time second. like a we hot actually second. haven't shopped in world market in a really long time so we are headed in now and we'll take you inside because i think they have like the best christmas stuff Corey's checking out now because we just did a little bit of quick shopping, but we ended up getting these marshmallow toppers. They're little snowflakes. You all know I'm a big fan of like fun little hot chocolate fixings, but how cute. They have snowmen snowflakes. They have these which are marshmallows, but they're with like, I think it might be dark chocolate and then peppermint. And then they have little pops that you can like, it's like almost like a stir. And then they also have the white chocolate with peppermint. How cute. You guys, this Santa, he is me. Purse, hot chocolate. The sunglasses, I've never resonated more with an ornament than that guy. But if you're looking for really beautiful and cost-effective glass ornaments, World Market has so many just like really beautiful ones. And I feel like they just always have, like they're always just really cute and really fun. And there's like, literally, there's a bunch. Well, we did some damage at J. Crew Factory. Alrighty, we have made it to the mall. I actually didn't really vlog, like, really at all in World Market. It was just, like, a little chaotic and busy, but we just went to J. Crew and did some holiday shopping. I was in the market for a new, like, leather loafer, and my mother-in-law, Corey's mom, has these black and, like, cognac wine color loafers. She has two different pairs, and I love them, and they were actually on sale, so I ended up ordering the red ones, and I got the black ones, and then I got two sweaters, Corey got a sweater. Oh, talk about your deal that you got at J. Crew Factory. So your sweater for got Christmas a Day. Christmas sweater. But we'll not show like you an home. ugly Christmas sweater. It's like a cute one. Oh, it's so and cute. And it was originally on sale from 180 to 60. And so yeah. it's on clearance and it was taking additional 70% off. So I bought it for $18. $18. I was like, win. that is like the best. Win, deal. win, win, win. Yeah, truly a win, win, win. So we're at the mall now. I have an Abercrombie like big return to make. And then we're gonna do Bath and Body Works. You Maybe Lululemon. Lululemon, because I have a gift card to shop for my birthday. And other stores. Other stores, and maybe just some like holiday fun. Oh, Lego store. Oh, and Corey wants the Lego store. All right, so we're in the mall, Yankee Candle. It is $12 candle day, so all these big candles that are normally, what are these? I think like 34 or something is what they normally are. Magical Frosted Forks. This is the best Christmas candle in the entire world. It smells like a treat. But it's almost like got a little bit of like, would you say like berry? It's yeah, a like little bit. Not like cranberry, but like a little bit of something. So magical frosted forest. There is just something so nostalgic about Mall Santa. And you know what I think of every time I see Mall Santa now? Do you know what I think of every time I see Mall Santa? Bob's Burgers episode. It is in fact the nice capades when they are, what, what's the point? That's like when she, what? That's when Louise thinks that she's good, but she's bad. Louise has been bad, but she thinks she, oh no. 
they kick the mall Santa off of the massage chair and now she's oh, trying to convince that she's, that she's good. Look. Yes. Because she knows that like mall Santas really are not the real Santa, they report to Santa, so she needs to make sure that she gets a good report to the yeah. To Yeah, so this is maybe not the necessarily the real Santa, but he'll report back to the real guy. All right, we are back at home. We are in my favorite spot to film of the holiday season. Don't make me start doing some coffee chats with a hot chocolate chat at night with the tree behind me because normally I don't love this lighting, but during the holidays with the tree, like this is better than natural lighting. So you're gonna see lots of cozy nighttime vloggy chats right here because this lighting, chef's kiss but we are home from a nice little day of shopping it is i'm checking the time 5 52 we got home around 5 but we just hung out with my mom for a little bit Corey cleaned like the windows in our car and now we're gonna heat up some leftovers for dinner but i thought i would do a haul of everything that i got today we went to j crew yankee candle bath and body works the Hallmark store and World Market. So we'll start with World Market. I don't know if I, I think I shared this in the store quickly. I got these cute little like marshmallow toppers for, let's see if you can see them a little bit better. These little marshmallow toppers, yeah. They're little like marshmallowy snowflakes for the hot chocolate. You can almost see them better like over here. So I got those for hot chocolate and then Corey got this really cute ginger, gingerbread, this really cute nutcracker mug with these cute little like hand painted nutcrackers i feel like this is so pretty and then i just loved this really cute little fair isle sweater red mug very heavy this is like the perfect ice cream mug bowl too or even like a little soup bowl and definitely hot chocolate and i just felt like the red was kind of fun and festive and i feel like i could even bring it a little bit into the winter so i got that and that was everything from world market aside from some of Corey's like stocking stuffers that i picked out Corey loves the world market for like fun little treats so I got him some of his stocking stuffers there if you're curious of his stocking stuffers I got him three orange Fantas because the orange Fanta there is like the orange Fanta in Europe and that's his favorite I got him the peach mochi because he likes those from the Epcot pavilion and I think those were the only two like world things that I got at world market now on to Bath and Body Works we got Corey actually picked out our soap of the season which was the winter candy apple I love Bath and Body Works foaming hand soap I think it's superior without a doubt. And then they also were having a candle sale and their candles were $9.95, I think, and they're normally $26.95, so that was definitely a good deal. We got Tiz the Season. This one is like a mix of like cranberry notes and a little bit more on like the spice side. Yeah, so it says, oh, I guess it's apple. Red, rich apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. This is a really nice different holiday scent if you don't want something so like Christmas tree like. That's my favorite holiday scent when we are just kind of, I don't want to say over the Christmas tree smell, but you know when you just want something a little bit different, I would say that's definitely a really good scent to invest in. And then we also went to Yankee Candle. You saw that we got that candle, but I'll share it again. We got two air fresheners for the car, Midsummer's Night and Balsam and Cedar. So we'll put the Balsam and Cedar in now, and then we'll put the Midsummer's Night in later on. And then like I said, let me open it up because I have to put it out anyway. Magical Frosted Forest. This. This is the Christmas candle. The Christmas candle. It is the best holiday scent. It's Christmas notes and maybe it's apple or cranberry. It's it's 100% Christmas tree pine, but it's got like a little bit of something else in there. And this is the superior Christmas tree smell. So we got that. Next from the Hallmark store, you know that Corey and I are big Christmas vacation people. It is our movie. It is my favorite movie just of all time in general. And every year they put out the Christmas vacation ornaments. Some talk, some don't. I have one that talks already. I didn't love the talking ones this year. I felt like they were too big and bulky. They were really cute, but just too big and bulky. So Corey and I picked up the Moose mug. I don't know if you can, I'll try to have it. Oh, look at how cute that is so this is one of their it says 2023 right on the box we can even take it out so i can show you guys i cannot wait to hang this on our travel tree once we actually set up like another tree where we collect these kind of just fun ornaments we'll put it on oh my god this is by far one of the cutest things you also don't even have to use this as like an actual Christmas ornament if you want you could just use it as decoration and on the back you probably it's like right here it's engraved 2023 so I'm so unbelievably happy with that I feel like it's so cute and so fun and then like I said we love Christmas vacation fun old-fashioned Griswold family Christmas this is a gift bag 
the best gift bag I've ever seen. And Corey and I said that every year we're gonna do every other year, the person gets to gift somebody something in this bag because I will never give this to anybody else. This will be like a new tradition that we start where every year, like the person gets to give somebody else a gift in this bag. So I was like, I love that. So fun and festive. And then next for J. Crew, I ended up getting two sweaters because I feel like I just need a few more basic, more like not as like circle neck but like a little bit higher up because I always pull my sweaters up like that and I wanted just some basic colors to wear like under a peacoat I could dress up dress down so I got this really nice gray soft sweater only $35 which I am very happy about because it is so unbelievably soft and then I also got the same sweater in black just some neutral colors I can have any of the J Crew factory stuff linked it down below if it's still in stock and then I got these really cute just like nice little wool socks just to wear with either like Uggs boots sneakers any of that kind of stuff and then they had three for 15 socks you guys I'm sorry like can we I'll save the best for last cute little snowmen these I love I love these little gingerbreads they're pink I don't know if you can see it's really bright but there we go like how unbelievably cute so it's like a baby pink and then this is what made me buy them you guys you guys I'm the hot chocolate queen how could I not buy these socks like I had to have them. They're hot chocolate with little candy canes on them. So that was a must for me. You knew that those were going to be coming home with me. And then I got these on sale as well, on sale for $35. I was so happy about it. I got these black, like, little penny loafers or loafers. I have been wanting these for a really long time, and I am so glad that they had them in store because they're really hard to find online, and they were on super sale, so I got them in black, and then I had them order the, like, red cognac wine color to my house so very very happy and excited about everything that we got today we didn't do too much Christmas shopping I know you're probably all gonna comment like I want to see what you're giving to Corey this season I want to see what you're giving and I will probably share eventually in a vlog but the problem is is that Corey watches the vlogs and people comment on things and then he reads them and then he sees it so I could just tell him not to watch the vlogs which he probably like wouldn't if I told him not to but I don't really I ordered a lot of Corey stuff online so once it comes in I'll Kind of share in piecemeal what I'm giving to Corey throughout like sprinkle through the vlogs and then he can just watch vlogmas later on but we are gonna pick up this vlog tomorrow because we're gonna go and make some dinner and I want to get all this stuff kind of put away and organized because it's a little bit of a chaotic mess but I will see you guys first thing tomorrow because we've got some fun stuff planned for a little cozy Christmas day tomorrow good morning everyone happy Sunday I say good morning and we are 15 minutes before the afternoon it is 11 45 but we had a really nice slow morning around here we woke up at probably I've been waking up at like 7 15 7 30 every morning just naturally without my alarm so scrolled a little bit in bed Corey and I just relaxed in bed a little bit this morning together and then around like nine o'clock Corey was already in the living room I got out of bed and we actually ended up doing kind of like a deep clean deep organize I would say of the house it was probably took us about maybe like an hour and a half yeah, because I would say I was done around like 11 o'clock. So we ended up bringing all of our Christmas bins downstairs. So we got that organized. We started some loads of laundry, which we definitely desperately needed to get some laundry done. And then what else did we do? We put up the Christmas tree in the living room and wrapped it with lights. Tonight when my mom gets home from work around like 3.30, 4 o'clock, we'll decorate that tree. But we just like wrapped it with the lights and put it in the living room. We cleaned the living room as well. Like we vacuumed, we dusted, we Cloroxed. You know, you got, got it all nice and clean because we're going to hopefully decorate this afternoon. And then, oh, I cleaned the kitchen as well, vacuumed the floor, Clorox the countertops. We organized and put away all the, like, the loose items in the kitchen. Do you ever just need a morning where it's not necessarily that things are dirty, but everything is so just out of place and not where it should be? Almost like a three-week span where you're just kind of like leaving things where they are. That's one of my biggest like New Year's resolutions or goals of next year is to do things and handle things once versus like coming in, taking my shoes off and leaving them by the door to then have to walk back and then bring them into the bedroom, just bringing them right into the bedroom right away. So that's just an example, but I feel like we got a lot done this morning. We folded some laundry as well. And Corey is watching Tottenham right now, the Premier League soccer team that he roots for. And it's almost about noon. We're gonna do steak tacos for lunch. 
so unbelievably excited. Like I am so ready for steak tacos. I feel like we haven't had good old fashioned tacos since we were in Florida. And then from before that, it's been a while because my mom is not like a crunchy taco or like a taco lover. She likes a taco bowl, but she doesn't like individual tacos. So I'm very excited that we're gonna have that for lunch shortly. And then what's on the agenda for today? Definitely decorating the kitchen and the living room with our Christmas stuff also. I got a nice pimpy and uh, I just wanted to go get out of here um, so we're doing that today and then I just uploaded vlogmas day two so that was fun got that organized this morning and what else are we doing today my mom's making homemade chicken soup so if you want I can have her show you her chicken soup recipe it's the same as mine it's very very easy what else I'm gonna do some reading today I want to get some like holiday books on my Kindle it's really gonna be the most like chill day I also just realized I may not have any crunchy tortilla shells for tacos and that means I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store. And Corey asked me if we needed anything when he went this morning, and I said no. So I'm a little scared. <laughs> Shit, damn it. Well, we'll see. If not, maybe I'll just do like a bowl or something. Oh, but I really wanted to do tacos. Damn it, all right, we'll figure it out. But either way, good morning. Just wanted to intro the vlog. It has been a nice little cozy morning, and I just wanted to say a good morning, and let's spend a nice little Sunday together too. This is how you Sunday fun day. We ended up making steak tacos for lunch today because we were in the mood. Corey's got his soft shells. We're ready to go. We also put a little tablecloth down, but I just feel like steak tacos on a Sunday. Is there really anything better? Like nothing better than steak tacos. The Patriots are on at one, so we're about to watch the Pats. And then we also have our tree. We've got some holes with the lights. It looks dark in the camera. Like right there's a hole, here's a hole. So oh. we'll have to move some lights around. But like when you move it, it's not. See how it goes up and down? Oh, interesting. So, yeah. Either way, tacos are ready. Daisy sour cream for the win. And uh, let's have lunch. Celebrate the season with a new Toyota. Not a crispy Diet Coke in my a week from the fridge. That steak is so good, Corey. Cat. You could not pay me to go to this rainy, disgusting Patriots game. Cheers. I mean, it's cheap pizza, but for what you're paying for, it's really not terrible. Not bad? No. Well, if people like Domino's pizza, that's like the only pizza crust I'll eat. But I haven't had Domino's in I thought it was Papa John's. Like that was the macaroni and cheese pizza. Mm. This is the face of a girl who has been sitting on the couch for like four hours. I ended up drying my hair. It's kind of like a little bit kinked now from the clip, but it's nice and dry and it's nice and clean. It's got some curl, like, you know, obviously like some kinkies underneath, but I'm thinking about, I'm not sure if I'm gonna straighten it or curl it for the week. Maybe I'll curl it, cause I haven't curled it in a while and I just did straight, but I enjoyed the straight hair and it was really easy. But my mom came home, we have some chicken soup on the stove, it's 5.30. I've literally been in the same spot for probably, like I said, like three and a half, four hours, but now we are going to decorate the tree in our living room. My mom's home, so we're gonna get some of those ornaments up on the tree, and it feels nice and like Christmassy in there now that it's more like holiday festive also sorry I, the lighting is gonna be weird because there's not the, actually I think this is the light maybe this will make it a little brighter and well it's all right it's just like I also think I might need to clean my camera lens but I feel like because of the brown and the orangeness or like the yellowness the warmness of the lights it makes it look a little bit wonky but just throwing my hair oh did I miss a piece of hair yeah I did there we go just throwing my hair back up in a claw clip also I sound still so congested but I'm hoping that by the time I wake up tomorrow it'll be pretty much be all gone because today I haven't really blown my nose too much which has been a nice little treat and a little refresh but got the hair in a claw clip and we're gonna go decorate a tree in the living room and we're having chicken soup for dinner and I think I'm in a Christmas movie mood tonight so we'll have to kind of decide between Corey my mom and I what we want to watch maybe some popcorn and some candy and have a cozy little Christmas evening so let's go decorate our tree in the living room
post dinner, I just made myself the most beautiful little, I'll try to like show you guys, the most beautiful little festive hot chocolate. I love it. But let me tell you, one of the hardest things for Vlogmas and everything about YouTube is the thumbnail photo. Like every time I go and try to take a photo for the thumbnail, I just feel like I have crap everywhere in my life. Stuff is all over the place. I either like don't have makeup on, I don't like the way that I look, or my hair is a hot chaotic mess. So to all the girlies that have really cute and aesthetic YouTube thumbnail photos, drop your uh, tips and tricks down below because I am constantly in a fight with my phone to get a good thumbnail. But either way, I've got the most beautiful, delightful little hot chocolate here. You what? You know, you know, always with the half and half. And I've got this cute little gingerbread cookie. I guess I might as well just start eating it. I got the best photos that I could, and now he's just a one legger. And now I guess I just have to eat the whole thing. I probably shouldn't have put that in my mouth when I started vlogging. Well, I ended up just dropping my little gingerbread into my hot chocolate. So let's hope that the photos before that I took with my new mug from yesterday came out pretty good. But today's been a very nice, relaxing Sunday. I have not gotten a ounce of fresh air today, which honestly, sometimes on a Sunday feels pretty nice to not like move and do a bunch of stuff. It was just really nice to rest and recharge. I feel like we've just been going, going, going for weeks. I was sick, I was under the weather. And sorry, I'm gonna keep messing with my hair because I just don't like how this whole clip is coming out. Give me a minute. All right, so I turned on the other light. Maybe that will make it different. I took my hair out of my claw clip and just like shoved it over to the side of my head. This is the only thing that's the, oh, I just literally scratched myself with my finger. It's getting chaotic, but. The only thing that I dislike about a claw clip, especially when my hair is clean, is when you do the twist, it just creates that like twisty kink in your hair. So I'm hoping that tomorrow when I decide to either curl or straighten it that the kink won't stay for super long. Wanted to do a little check-in. Like I said before, I was cut off by my own individual chaoticness. It's been such a relaxing, enjoyable day. We literally didn't do anything today. We just hung out at home, had a nice little cozy day. I think we're gonna watch a Christmas movie tonight before bed with my mom. And I'm actually gonna do one, if not two, of my 12 Days of Christmas puzzles that Corey got me, the Michael Storings ones. I can show you guys once I actually start to do it. I'm gonna bring my puzzle board into the living room. Comment down below, are you a puzzle girly, a puzzle guy? Let me know because I can also link it down below as well. But I ended up buying this puzzle board on Amazon because now that we have my niece and nephew over a ton and we always just want to sit and relax in the living room i don't my mom's coffee table is like real wood so it's not flat and straight it's like got some like rivets in it so i can't really do a puzzle on that table so i bought a puzzle board and now my puzzles are mobile and i absolutely love it so i made myself a nice little festive hot chocolate let me tell you marshmallows and hot chocolate are so good something that corey actually taught me when we started dating was he used to put spoonfuls of fluff, like fluff a nutter in his hot chocolate to act as the marshmallow because fluff is just basically marshmallow. That is also very good. I'll have to do that one day this season. We can make like a fluff a nutter hot chocolate, but my hot chocolate today is hot chocolate packet with the water, half and half. I did a lot of marshmallows today, peppermint whipped cream, my little gingerbread guy, and I actually found some little festive sprinkles in the cabinet. I didn't think we had any, but my mom was like, no, I, I do think that we have some red and green sprinkles. So those also went on the coffee for a little bit of festive fun. Let me tell you, this mug is like weighing my ass down. Like I'm like ready to hit the floor. So either way, I've got a nice little hot chocolate. We're probably gonna go watch a movie. It is about, I don't even know if I, told you guys the time. So it's 7.45 right now. I would like to be in bed tonight by around probably 9.45, 10 o'clock. We'll watch the bronze vlogmas before bed and then we'll both probably just hit the hay, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna go pick out and do a puzzle right now. So let's go in the living room, let's get my puzzle board and we'll pick a puzzle. Got my puzzle board, big puzzle board. We also just put up the tree. Oh, I just hit the camera. Well, it be what it be, right? I hit it twice. Here is my Michael Soaring's puzzle advent calendar. So I showed this in a vlog too, but on the back, there's 12 different like cities and whatnot. And so I'm gonna pick a puzzle right now. There's 12 puzzles, 80 pieces each, and they're five by sevens. And I feel like that's the perfect thing for a festive little Christmas. All right, I'm gonna give you, Mom and Corey, a number between one 
and 12. Pick a number. Five. Mom, pick a number. Seven. So because six is in between that, I'm going to pick the sixth image. One, two, three, four, five, six. Paris puzzle is the winner. Wait, you can't pick the Santa Claus. Because I, I so would. It's one that you don't give a shit Not one that I don't. Not super care about, but one that, like. Like, I like Jingle All the Way. I like Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, Once I'm Upon a Christmas. Wait, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Did I put a Christmas carol on? Does my mom. Do you like a Christmas carol? Mom? This is only Disney Plus, so, like, we have, we have time. Or we have, like, other streaming services to figure out. The only reason I say not the Santa Claus is I would watch. Any other movie besides the Santa Claus and Chevy Chase right now because I actually like to sit and watch those. But I would be open to Elf. Okay, so what did I just say was on TV? Yeah, but do we want commercials? Santa Claus. But do we want commercials? I guess that's the play. I would watch the cartoon Grinch. Where we Grinched out. But the original Grinch. Oh, I like that one. That's my mom's favorite. Let's do that. to end vlogmas day what is this vlogmas is this vlogmas day four i think it's vlogmas day four so either way we're gonna end vlogmas day four i had so much fun we ended up just watching the little cartoon grinch the first one the one that's like 25 minutes that's one of my mom's favorites so we watched that and then i did the puzzle loved doing that little puzzle it's a five by seven you saw it. it's probably about like this big it's really cute you probably could even frame them which could be pretty cool so that was nice and then we watched prep and landing and we watched my vlogmas day two with my mom and then we watched carter's getting in the christmas spirit loved her vlog with that being said we're gonna close out vlogmas day four i'm probably gonna do well i definitely am gonna do i'm starting a morning vlogmas tomorrow very excited i'm just having the best time doing vlogmas they're just fun little vloggy moments so with that i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next vlogmas for vlogmas day five bye everyone